Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on what is happening across the tropics. And so we're going to be talking mainly about that Sahara dust that has already begun uh, entering the Caribbean. And we'll be looking at what is uh, currently happening out there as well in terms of uh, activity. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, and so let's go ahead and get on with it and we're kickstarting this video with this satellite imagery of course of the Caribbean and we can see here that there isn't too much happening right now as usual. We do see some cloud clusters and they might help to induce air, uh, rainfall across some areas. Uh, for example, we have that little cluster uh, that is leaving the vicinity of the Leeward Islands there and so uh, it's likely that uh, those probably help to induce some overcast skies, maybe a bit of early morning showers, but nothing too intense across the region right now. But what we do have entering is that mass of Saharan dust. And so uh, if we were to take a look at the tropical Atlantic, so this is visible satellite imagery, you can notice that you can see some of that brownish hue. Now that is actually the Saharan dust being visible from space. So... Of course, it is dust, so uh, that is the reason it has that brownish hue. And it is not something new or uncommon. It happens every single year. But uh, in some years, such as 2020, as we saw, there was a lot more in terms of the quantity of it across some areas. And so uh, that was really the time when, mo when a lot of persons became more aware that it is something that actually happens each year. But at that time around, it was in a lot more abundance. So all that dust is entering the Caribbean and so uh, if you're in especially the Windward Islands or even Northern South America you might be waking up to a bit of hazy skies especially when you're looking out at the mountains in the distance. It might look a bit more hazy than usual and that is as a result of the Saharan dust. Now in terms of the forecast so this is for later tonight so we are seeing here that uh, where we have more of the darker browns as a matter of fact that means uh, there is more of an abundance of dry air. And we can see that it is extensive all the way from Africa across the tropical Atlantic and to the Caribbean. So most of the Lesser Antilles, the ABC Islands, Northern South America, inclusive of uh, Barbados and Trinidad and Tobago, of course, uh, we can see that all those areas are in that mass of dry air. Now, as we're going to be heading into tomorrow... We can see here that uh, the dust is forecasted to continue moving to the west and uh, blanketing more regions, especially along uh, the southern part of Central America. However, as we head to Monday, we see it sort of dissipating and we're not seeing where that plume of dust is going to be heading into the vicinity of the Greater Antilles. But this is just the start of it. And usually as we progress more towards the hurricane season and enter the first part of the hurricane season, uh, there is a lot of dust out there and so the tropical waves will have a very hard time uh, getting convective activity in association with them when that dust is out there in abundance. So that is what helped to suppress a lot of activity last year, uh, especially in the months of July and August. However, let us wait and see what the outcome is going to be for this year. But uh, as of now, especially with the expectations in terms of the El Nino Southern Oscillate, there is a pretty good chance that we could even see maybe an average season this year if what was forecasted comes true. But of course, as we're going to be progressing into the next several weeks, there are going to be more updates coming out for the hurricane season and only time will tell what the eventuality is going to be. But as of right now, we have this massive Saharan dust that is making its way towards the west and uh, it is going to be helping to uh, induce more hazy skies across some areas, especially with in the southeastern Caribbean and northern South America. So that is really it for this update video, guys. And of course, I'm going to be keeping you updated once it is necessary. So if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise.